hour flight to Orlando, the first destination. The second destination after three days in Florida will be three days in New Jersey. And then flying down to Frisco, New Texas for the final three days. It's going to be quite some journey over 10 days. I'll arrive back on Friday, 12, 13. So I've just had my very first American meal and guess what I had? Their chips aren't as nice as the ones we have in England. I'm not talking about the usual fish and chip shop chips, I'm talking about the fries they do at McDonald's. Not as nice. Neither is the mayo, ch mayo chicken, which is the muck chicken here. It's not as nice. And this baked apple pie. It's like it's like a sausage roll. What's uh, women's soccer like? Or well, it's women's football in England, of course. But uh, what's women's soccer like over over here in the in the states? It's growing. It's uh, exciting, and. Uh, you know, as an American, again, football's our sport, but soccer's been growing in the last few years, and uh, they've been bringing a lot more recognition to it, and uh, exciting to watch, especially, you know, seeing the backstories of, about the women and the recognition they're getting now is, uh, I think it's it's positive and incredible. Did you watch the World Cup last year? I watched, again, watched, no, paid attention to, yes. Tomorrow uh, is going to be England versus the US. Mm -hmm. So that's in Orlando. Yep. Uh, do you think you'll watch it? Um, again, watch it. I'll pay attention to it. You you brought that more to my attention, but I'm a sports center guy. I'm sure they would have talked about it. So yeah, I will definitely pay attention to it. So we're off to um, Lake Mary. Lake Mary, nice. Sanford, Florida. I mean, I've never been. To, I've never even been to the US. My first trip to the US. Yeah. How are you liking it? Very warm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. far, I mean, yeah. not everywhere. Obviously, I've come yeah, to the right no, spot. you've come to the uh, the, the 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 pink the, the the orange spot on the map still in our country. You yeah, haven't yeah. hit the white and blue yet. Here it is. Okay. Your roads are pretty simple out here, aren't they? Compared to ours. Yes. Yeah. No. Everything's pretty. Yeah. It's yeah. They. they yeah. We got to set up though. It's very wide open out here, especially out in uh, Sanford. It's. I don't know. It's. They built it pretty nice out here. The only for future. You problem you have is that you, you drive on the wrong side of the road. Well, I mean, that or y'all have that problem. I haven't figured that out yet. You know, that's why if I ever come to your country, I'll probably Uber too. I'm never going to do that. We, you know. we drive on the left, which is which is actually yeah. the right. Well, <laughs> right. Right? Wrong? What? Yeah. <laughs> so, here we are. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. No, I appreciate you, man. I'm here in sunny Orlando, Florida. As you can see, I've got the old uh, England shirt. 2004, this one, just in case you were wondering. And today I've joined the England women's team, the Lionesses, as they prepare for their very first game in the She Believes Cup against the United States of America. It's going to be a good one, that's tomorrow. Steph, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. You good? Yeah, good. Are you enjoying the weather out here? Yeah, loving the sunshine. So. Don't get too used to it because we're off to New Jersey. I know, next. yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to briefly catch up with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're successful captain when you think about some of the tournaments that you've won mm -hmm. over the last few years, uh, including this one yeah. last year. So what are you looking to achieve this year? Yeah, I think it'd be nice if we could replicate what we did last year, I think to bring the trophy home, that's that's what we want to do. But at the same time, I think last year was all about the performances and how we played. So if we can replicate them types of performances, I think as a team and as a squad, we'd be really happy. Have you got a message for Rapino just to stir the pot a little bit? Because I'm going to have a word with her later, I think. So I'd like <laughs> no, to know. not at all. Just, oh, come on, not no, even a little message. Nah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd squeeze you there just yeah, to see. No. 
Oh, no. very clever. We'll keep, keep that firmly <laughs> yeah, tight. Try, yeah. Keep that for the dressing room, maybe. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow against the US? Have you got any, any predictions, anything you're looking to achieve? Um, I think it'll be a physical game. I think, obviously, whenever we play USA, I think physically we're probably the best teams in the world in terms of the intensity that we play at and the speed we have in both teams. So it's always quite evenly matched in that sense. And um, I think it'll be a real end-to-end -end game. It'll be a lot of attacks, a lot of both of us try to take the game to each other so I think we're in for a good game and hopefully a good game for the fans as well. It's a difficult one because you both kind of come to the end of your cycles and you're, you're almost on a new cycle uh, in terms of team and squads both mm -hmm. for the US and for England so it's kind of difficult to predict how it's going to go especially after last year's World Cup with a lot of fresh faces for both squads I think that could be a tricky one to know how we're going to move forward for the Euros next year. Yeah I think obviously we're in a new two-year cycle, as you said, we've got the Olympics coming up and then we've got the Euros as well. So I think with new players coming to the squad, it could be a little bit different. But um, the outcome that we want is still remains the same. We want to win. We want to play the way that the boss wants us to play. So um, for us, it's about them young players coming in and adapting to that style of player. And for us as experienced players, it's just trying to make sure that we continually perform how we've been doing over the last few years. Cool. One final thing. Rebelliousness. If that's a word, rebelliousness, is that a word? I'm not sure. I don't know what it is now. Isn't that a fashion label, but never mind, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like it. Is it? I don't know, is yeah. that a fashion? It is. Rebellious fashion, Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so have you done... I get a plug on that. There you go. <laughs> have you done anything rebellious since you've been out here? Um, not really, we haven't had really much time. I think maybe just some a bit, probably not allowed to. That's but, yeah. not that rebellious, though. Yeah, it is in this environment. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by last year's World Cup, with, with lots of the uh, rebellious stuff that went on, including large inflatable things. Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. unicorns, I don't know whether are they... Have we uh, packed them? I'm not sure. I don't know, I've not seen them yet. Yeah, I don't we'll know. see. I don't know, probably maybe, an appearance. maybe not New Jersey. Might though. need something else, yeah, I yeah. don't know, we'll have to see what we'll we can see. find while we're out here. Yeah. <laughs> Steph, good luck for Thank tomorrow, you. let's hope we can get a win. Thank you. This afternoon, I'm going to see the US team and uh, see what trouble I can get up to. So this is the Exploria Stadium. It's got a capacity of 25,000, which I've just been told. Very nice. Um, it's good. It's very purple. Reminds me of uh, Cadbury's. So you can probably see in the distance the Spanish team are just training at the moment for their very first game tomorrow. I have a lot of respect for, uh, for the England national team, a lot of respect for Phil, I had a chance to interact with him when I was coaching the rain. There's been a lot of talk about the semi-final of last year, of course. Do you like tea at all? <laughs> He's more of a coffee drinker, I think. I mean, I came in with coffee, but uh, I, I wouldn't mind uh, that good tea either. And what, what I'm getting at is, do you have any weaknesses? What do you mean by weakness? Do you have any weaknesses within the US team that maybe we can get at a little bit? You mean a little jibe? Maybe. I'm sure yeah. we can come up with something. Yeah. It's a feeling I've been chasing my whole life, so I think that's what kind of has triggered me to get to the places I've, I've been. But honestly, I think we approach every game like that. I mean, we're the ones that have the number one, you know, on our back and the big target. <laughs> See the goalkeepers training for the US. Yep. Look pretty good. Let's hope they're not going to be that good tomorrow. Yep. Are there any weaknesses we can feed back yep. to England? Just okay. drop that one. Yep. That went in. Yep. Good. Hope. Is this thing on?
Good morning, well good afternoon actually because we are five hours behind here in Orlando, Florida. I'm in the States. Let me take these off. I'm in the States, the US of A for the She Believes Cup. It's a four-team tournament comprising of, of course, England, the USA, be a bit weird if it didn't, and newbies, Japan and also Spain. It's match day here today. Spain and Japan kick off first this afternoon around 3 o'clock I think, 3.30, something like that. Um, and England versus USA, the big one, the rematch from the semi-final of the World Cup last year. We're out for revenge. We will see. That kicks off at 7 o'clock local time here. That is midnight back home in the UK. Can't wait. <laughs> just in a, a, a cafe at the moment called College Park Cafe. I'm just having something to eat, having some breakfast. Pancakes, of course. So I'm just here at the Exploria Stadium here in Orlando. It's England versus the US. I've got my shirt on, as you can see. It's predictions for tonight. I don't know. I, I don't want to... Uh, my heart says England, as it always does, but if I'm honest, my head says that we're going to lose this 2-0. Now there, have, there is a bit of an issue uh, getting in because I'm not really supposed to be wearing an England shirt because I have my, uh, my media pass, as you can see there, just floating away. And you, you're supposed to be neutral when you go into the media. So I've got a jacket just there to cover it over. So we're going to have to be a little bit secretive and I'm going to be able to take it off when I can. What's the prediction going to be for today? Because, you know, come on, two run England. One, two, England. Okay, okay, so we've got England support, right? We've got England win. USA! USA! Come on, England! Come on, England! USA! 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 I'm in the wrong part of town. USA! USA! This is very dangerous. Very dangerous for England. Dangerous times at the moment. Free run of the ball. By Telford, punch and save. Ooh. Incredible goal by the US. And of course, they have the fireworks. A very good goal by the US. We saw it coming. Offside. Yeah. I don't think it was. I, I, I'd have to see that replay. Why did I come out here? All right, I could be wrong. This was a bad move. I've come all the way to Orlando to see this. Why did I come here? Bloody hell! It's pretty much done and dusted at this point. Uh, of just 20 seconds ago, a normal time. It's two nil, as predicted. I might add once again by yours truly. Yeah. Oh, tough, tough match out there tonight. Yeah, um, not great. Um, I thought the team did really well first off. I think we had a good few chances that we could have buried. Um, unfortunately, I think we had a 10 minute spell in the second half that cost us the game. Ultimately, those two chances, America took them and, and cost us and we didn't take ours. Two more games in the tournament. Well, we got to watch it back, reflect, see where we can improve. Japan and Spain are going to be a different challenge for us, so I'm sure we'll Bring something different towards them games. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a great night for the England squad. I'm pretty gutted as I always am when England lose. Um, it's a bit disappointing. I'm always disappointed, even if I did predict the score, and it was quite a predictable performance, I thought. I got an edgy head. Uh, it's freezing. This is outrageous. Have you ever heard a 
Blue Peter? No. No? no. Okay. Oh. It's in! It's in! Oh, <laughs> oh. oh dear. It's coming up. And I've probably cracked a rib. I I've just spotted Megan Rapino. What's she doing here? <laughs> Finally, Megan Rapino, we meet at last. <laughs> yes! It is called football. We invented it in England. 